Welcome to the Quick Resume CFD Toolbox for MATLAB tutorial number 18. In this tutorial we'll show you how to perform an unsteady blood flow simulation in a carotid bifurcation. Let me explain more details on the geometry. So, what we actually import is a geometry of a blood vessel. You can see that it bifurcates here. The inflow is on the bottom, so we will prescribe velocity inlet profile in here. And after that, we will investigate how blood splits through this junction and what is the level of shear rate generated in this vicinity. This information is crucial in clinical research. It's a very common topic in CFD actually. Okay, let's discuss the parameters here. Viscosity is 3.8. We do not multiply it by one over million because we will consider our units here as millimeters in our software. So you can see that the mesh was created in millimeters and viscosity is in millimeters squared over a second. And furthermore, it's kept, it's kept constant as there is no uh, need to assume that it's non-Newtonian in such scale. We define the time step. 0.075 seconds and we just perform 20 time steps for the simulation. We assemble the mass matrix because the simulation is unsteady, initialize the movie object and now let's have a look at the main time stepping loop. So some things are already pretty familiar. We assemble never Stokes matrix and add unsteady terms. That's the value of the inlet velocity. Actually we should make it pretty much larger in here. That's the inlet on the bottom, so that's just the vertical component. No slip on the sides. We calculate gamma, that is the shear rate, so that in every time step we can just display that on the boundaries of our blood vessel. Okay, let's still maybe modify the range for the shear rate and let's execute the code. Okay, so yeah, zero shear rate at the very beginning and step after step we're gonna get our flow developed. What you will observe here is a sort of numerical artifact that the shear rate is actually the largest at the inlet and at the outlet. At the inlet it results from the fact that the profile is not smooth, actually it has non-zero velocity at the wall so it's being artificially uh, large shear zone generated on the edges and at the outlet simply it's really hard to define proper boundaries. The best way is just to get rid of those points as they carry no physical meaning in this region because we are most interested on that. Anyway, the, st the simulation continues. We'll just show you the results of a little bit more smoothed one simulation that we carried out before. If you are more interested in that please go ahead and ask us for the code. So the final simulation would look the following. You can see that there's a pulsatile flow and uh, yeah, the shear rate keeps on pulsating on the junction and in the vicinity to the outflow. But here, this region is actually the region of our main concern. Okay, so that's everything regarding this tutorial. We hope that you enjoyed. Please subscribe, like, drop us a comment and visit our website quickersim.com for more, more tutorials. See you next time.